This is Ella and Shorty at the TLC clinic. I'm going to let it go through regular and then do a slow play review. Um, Ella, I know Shorty was working pretty good for you in the drills throughout the day and stuff, but it looks like right here you just got a lot of confused with your rain hand. Um, whoops, and you lost a little balance not getting back to two hands soon enough. So it kind of rattled him. Um, he's very sensitive about his face. And if you don't give it back to him, he stays overly cocked. Your second and third was nice, though. Um, and then right here, I don't know, all of a sudden he just went around that barrel with you. It's like he gets a little scared and not sure what is to be expected of him. So what I would do with him is just really slow things down, um, you know, and just, just you know, really get him more confident with his basics and pattern. So I'm going to send it through now in a slow play um, and just so you can see what happened at first barrel. There were parts of this run that were good. I know you missed the morning run and and he really didn't get a lot of time on the barrel pattern um, exhibitioning. So uh, I would have liked to have seen him possibly, you know, have, have more time. But you even see just any time you touch his face, his head just flings up really high and then see how you're leaning forward and um, he's just very sensitive to your hands so you're gonna have to be very careful to sit more in the middle of him and and not get in his face at all um, as you can see as soon as right here you're sitting really upright as soon as you pick him up right there he just over flexes his face and almost swings his butt um, and then right there, again, I would go with a lighter bit for a while. Um, maybe get his teeth checked. Uh, maybe have the chiropractor check him if you haven't done any of that stuff yet because he's so overreactive that it's almost like it hurts him. So do you see how any pressure at all on the rain, um, any pressure at all on the rain causes him to uh, overreact and just keep his face cocked. So right here, you didn't um, give him back his rain hand. Your hand was still way back here, and so he just kept cocked. So you pull up on the saddle horn and lean forward, but your hand is still back here. So pulling on the rain and balancing on the rain, so he just overturns the barrel. So that's what happened there. And then by the time you finally realize that you've got to get off of his head, and you give it back to him, he's already overreacted. So you went ahead and did the right thing, got out of his face, and just circled the barrel again, loose rein, but, um, and then got back to two hands and straightened him out. But then we have the same kind of issue here with his face, if you'll notice right here. You have a pretty good pocket going in. I mean, he could probably be straighter, and you could keep yourself straighter um, and be right about here instead of, uh, him dropping and you leaning to the inside, um, sit more square. But then right there, again, if you could try to soften and turn your body a little bit, that would help instead of using the inside rein so much. And then he wouldn't come back so hard on top of the barrel. Keep your hand lower and use your body more to turn your horse instead of your rein hand. And that would help as well. As you notice, he's just constantly keeping that face inside. So I would go to a much lighter bridle on him and see if you can make a difference um, with a lighter bridle. And then right here, your hands were low going in, but then when you pick him up on the backside, he gets scared again. But again, even, even where you pick him up, he's still kind of getting in on the turn a little bit. Um, if you'll notice, he gets down on his front end, his front end's in, his back end's out. He just really needs to learn how to stand up a little bit better and not start the turn too soon. Um, so work on that. Work on him being a little bit more square going up into the turn um, instead of swinging his butt and dropping in on you like so. He just tends to overflex, and when he does that, it just kind of falls apart from there. Even right there, you can see um, if you hold his face, it's you know, over cocked to the inside again. So you finally give him back his head here and then you're just trying to slow him down. You're looking straight ahead. He sees a barrel and he's like, okay, I'm gonna turn this barrel too. So he's just a young horse. It seems a little bit confused. It looks like he's had too much fast work and not enough slow work. He needs to go back to slow on the pattern and he needs to go back to basics as well just to get a little bit more confident. So I know you had a rough afternoon on him and 
Um, don't be down on yourself. I see you guys with a, a good future. He's a really cute horse, and I think he has a lot of potential. But just go back and show him the pattern correctly, you know, and, and teach him how to go in straight and then come around, go in straight and then come around, go in straight and then come around. Um, sorry, I was going to that barrel instead of my dot. So, um, anyhow... That and, um, you know, continue on with some of your basics. That drill that Carly had you doing, the inline barrels, would be a good one for him. Right, two hands sit and then one hand around it. And really learn to turn your body to turn a circle. And just do it one-handed, um, two hands on the straight, but one hand around the turn. And learn to ride him more with your body so that he doesn't overcock his face. Um, you might have to keep your hand more on the center of the rein when you're doing that drill so that he doesn't overflex his face. If he can't handle it in the beginning, then you might have to go ahead and um, do something a little more simple like spirals on him until he learns how to carry himself correct and, you know, spiral down to a small circle, then spiral back out to a large and change directions. Um, he just needs to really learn how to balance and carry himself and not overflex. So maybe a bit that's not going to let him uh, bend quite so much as the combination um, that you had him in and just something a little bit milder um, that's not got so many pressure spots would be good as well. Thank you for attending the clinic and please keep me posted on um, whoops, keep me posted on your future. I think he has a lot of potential and I think with your ability you guys can make a really good team.